Welcome to my channel. I'm Tharani and today I'll be reading to you A Tree for Mr. Fish by Peter Stang. Now let's get started. One morning, two friends met in a tree. Hello, bird, said cat. Hello, cat, said bird. Goodbye, bird and cat. This is my tree, said Mr. Fish. It's not for cats or birds. But I have climbed high to be in this tree, said Cat. And I have flown far to be in this tree, said Bird. Climbing and flying are easy, said Mr. Fish. I have crawled, rolled, slithered, and wiggle-waggled to be in this tree. But fish don't belong in trees, said Bird. They really don't, said Cat. A fish in a tree is very weird. I'll tell you a story, said Mr. Fish. Long ago, it rained for a whole year. The lake rose higher and higher until the water was above this very tree. I lived here, said Mr. Fish, continued. It was my home, and I loved it more than ice cream on pancakes. story, said Bird, but this tree is not underwater. It stopped raining, exclaimed Mr. Fish. The water went down and anyone who is not a fish should leave. Wait a minute, said Cat. Fish can't live without water. They can't breathe. That's true, said Bird. How are you even alive right now? They're right, thought Mr. Fish. No wonder I'm always uncomfortable. Plop, plop, plop. Rolly bowls for the fish on the go. I am smart. I have been in school. So believe me, this is my tree. I will leave because you are too loud, said Bird. I have very sensitive ears. And I will leave because you are being rude, said Cat, which is worse than having fleas. I am not loud or rude. Now I finally have the tree all to myself. After a long time went by, Mr. Fish discovered something. This is boring tree. But then he had a big idea. I will have a party. Mr. Fish invited all his friends. It was the worst party ever. There is no water. We can't breathe. I'm very uncomfortable. Everyone left. Party poopers. Who cares about them? said Mr. Fish to nobody. This is my tree anyway. But it turned out Mr. Fish cared a lot. Suddenly he felt lonely, very lonely. His scales sagged, his gills gagged, and then, Wah! You are still yelling, said Bird. Maybe you forgot how sensitive my ears are. Maybe, said Cat, you haven't forgotten how to be nice. I am sorry about your ears, and I am sorry I was rude, said Mr. Fish. I would like to make things better. Will you help me, please? I will help because you said you are sorry, said Bird. I am a very forgivable bird, and I will help you because you said please, said Cat. I'm unusually nice for a cat. So Mr. Fish shared his plan with bird and cat. Then they got to work. Bam, bam, clink, clink, cut, cut, swish, swish. And when they were done, Mr. Fish shared the tree with bird and cat. And he shared it with everyone else too. Woohoo! Best party ever! Thank you. Shall we dance? The 
end. Thanks for reading with me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell if you want to hear a notification every time I post a new video. See you next time. Bye!